So I'm curious from your perspectives, and Ben, we're going to start with you. What issues have you seen come up with therapists around advocacy? Quite a bit. And uh, and it's such a broad range. My joke is that my job would be much easier if I worked for the podiatrist as opposed to the psychologist, because the human mind carries with it such an ocean of issues that are relevant to psychology's expertise. And so we, as an office, definitely have trouble narrowing down exactly where to put our resources because there are so many issues that we could be weighing in on. Uh, but typically, we're divided amongst four different uh, areas of issues, the practice side, so reimbursement, telehealth, the regulations surrounding that. Um, then we have the education and workforce side. Um, so a lot of student debt issues as it relates to psychology, and also just making sure that there are opportunities for psychologists as they get out of um, their trainings. Um, and then the third uh, area of focus for a lot of our team is the science. So making sure that there's federal research dollars so that the researchers can do uh, their work. Um, and that's specifically advocating for like the um, Department of Defense, uh, the, the Veterans Administration, uh, National Science Foundation, or various different agencies. Um, and then the, the fourth area, which is the area that I had worked in, um, is the public interest, uh, which is a lot of the population health, whether it relates to women's health, LGBTQ uh, health, um, as well as uh, socioeconomic status, um, ethnic minority affairs and several other population areas, but also the societal issues that psychology can weigh in on, like suicide prevention and um, just so many other different areas as well, uh, like policing and um, as they arise that uh, need psychology's expertise to make a difference. Wow, I mean, that is <laughs> a breath of like coverage on multiple topics and they are really big topics. Everything has a need. And I'm just kind of curious about, you know, managing that. And also where you see there are there are breakdowns in communication or challenges. I'm just kind of curious how you, you work through all of that. And Doris, I'm curious from your perspective, what are some of the issues that you're seeing? And are they the sim similar or are they different? So just by sheer function of me coming in in July, um, right around the time when APA was getting started around a reimbursement issue, um, well, on a campaign around a reimbursement issue, that's kind of been where I've been more. Um, you know, thankfully, it's actually kind of been a silver linings um, situation where the CMS rule that we were weighing in on actually did yield some good changes, especially in the area of telehealth. Um, so I actually kind of came at a good moment. Uh, I would say, even though there's, there's a big breadth of issues, generally, if you're in any given field of psychology, it still helps to weigh in because everything's kind of interconnected at some level, right? Um, if one part of the government is not working, even if you're not receiving payments from that particular program, it's still affecting your population. Therefore, it's going to be affecting either your community, your neighbors, your clients. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, yes, there are issues and it makes it easy for us to prioritize based on what's coming, kind of bubbling up in either Congress or the federal government. But in general, the more we all kind of link arms and work together on any issue that we think could be of interest to anyone we know, the stronger we'll be as a field overall. Um, and, you know, Ben, do you maybe kind of want to dive in to how APA structures its uh, priorities across, like, where we're a unique voice versus a coalition voice? Because I think that sure. might be Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's really a diversity of factors, keeping in mind that, you know, we are a membership organization and uh, we have to uh, adhere to the governance that is uh, given to us both through APA resolutions as well as the committees that are elected through APA and, you know, working with the divisions in APA and other stakeholders. And it's also the outside factors that come in, uh, what is hot in Congress's plate. You know, it's not going to be the same issue every year. And we have to strike while, strike while the iron is hot on a lot of issues or else we lose that uh, boat that is our way to create policy. Um, and then also there's just a lot of outside stimuli as it relates to uh, news factors. Uh, you know, uh, uh, an incidents like the George Floyd incidents, 
you know, changes the tone in Congress and society. And that takes a greater precedent um, when you really have momentum to build on issues so such as that. Thank you.